All right, so this was a Twitter survey. Everyone sees the screen? It's okay? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I just, I was very, uh, this, this is part of a discussion regarding ABI, of course, uh, as probably everyone that answered the survey um, have figured. But I, I was really curious about the way that people use C++ in the work environment. But it was very important to me as well to have a light survey. I didn't want to, I wanted people to have, to be able to answer it in a few minutes. So first of all, I just want to thank Adi and Michael, of course, for your help, uh, for, you know, um, uh, posting this uh, throughout the CPP, the core CPP platform. And uh, so Adi has uh, answered your question, uh, 740 people answered. I think that's quite a lot. <laughs> and I think uh, the formal survey is about 1,200 or so, so I think it's a, it's a great number for us. So I'm just going to start with the short disclaimers. Uh, this is not an academic survey, of course, uh, wasn't, you know, wasn't making sure that people reacted only once and so on. Uh, I was aiming for keeping it light, so the, the questions aren't very accurate and that's part of the thing, that's a Twitter platform. Uh, I think the people who answered are of course the ones that are more involved uh, in, in the community, in the C++ community, so it also needs to be taken under consideration. And the people who answered are probably optimistic as we all are, that's, that's my assumption. So I'll just go quick about the few questions that I found interesting. So first of all, what are the main versions used in your uh, C++ versions used in your workplace? So this is not exclusive, so there's over 100% here, but I was quite surprised that already 5% said that they moved to C++ 20, which is pretty cool, I think. And second, uh, how long do you believe it will take your company to move to C++ 20? Um, in its main project. Now, so again, this question is a bit, um, it's hard to, to say, uh, it's hard to, um, to specify questions that are both accurate and light, but uh, this is a big percentages. That's like 82 percentages think that they, their company is gonna move or, or uh, expect that their company is gonna move to C++ 20 in around 10 years. I, I was surprised by it, I think it's a lot. I think it's a high number uh, from my experience in the industry, but this is great. And please evaluate how much of your code uh, relies on C++ libraries and code you can't update. Now this question again was tricky to, to, uh, to, um, to write, but I wasn't really uh, interested in the percentages, you know, uh, seen here. So let me just, sorry. Uh, okay. Okay. So uh, now, now you can see the whole screen, right? <laughs> so I was more interested in um, in those percentages. So first of all, is the twenty percent that says that all their code can be upgraded? And I was also surprised by the number that wasn't sure. So of course, this question. First of all, I think the people that can upgrade all their environment are 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 aware of that. So for example, embedded developers and so on, they usually know that they upgrade all the libraries with the code and so on. But 10%, that means that in order to move to a, a newer version of C++, at least the company will have to do some kind of, of um, management to, it means I think that most developers can't do this transformation and, and there's gonna be some kind of, uh, of overhead. All right, so last interesting question. Please evaluate what percentage of your product code can you compile from source? And here that's actually, to my opinion, also quite a high number. So interesting comments for the survey. Uh, C++ is so great, but the updates coming up lately, it's been quite stressful learning them. And I got another version of that, uh, newer doesn't mean better, uh, simpler does, and I agree. 
Uh, another interesting comment, uh, we probably won't upgrade to C++20, uh, too much in, in insanity added. We're looking to migrate to C instead, which is unfortunate. You should have not put that in your slide. <laughs> no, you know, <laughs> trying to be honest. <laughs> and moving to C Sharp now. It's okay, I guess some companies prefer. And I'm anxiously waiting, uh, uh, waiting certain C++ features, uh, PS break the ABI, and do not consider breaking the ABI, please, which I found uh, <laughs> touching. <laughs> So takeaways, uh, the way I see it, and of course I will publish the results uh, later, but I just, the way I see it is, first of all, a significant amount of the project can upgrade their environment. A significant amount of the developers does, doesn't know if their product contains code that can be updated. Uh, this is an overhead in mapping the project, as I said. <laughs> There's an overhead in preparing the code for update, of course. And I believe we should provide options for both product types because I still think that 43% that can actually update all their code is also a noticeable amount of, of developers. And uh, simplicity is of course very important to the community. That's, that's sort of an obvious, but I, I still thought it was interesting to see how, people, uh, how many people uh, relatively refer to that. So thank you for all the people that shared the, the, uh, the poll. I, I really, there's some really cool people here and this was really, uh, it was really thanks to them, of course. And if anyone is interested, I'm, I'm again, as I said, this is really relating to the ABI uh, topic. I'm probably gonna publish these results at some form. So if you're interested, you're very welcome to send me an email or the NB core CPP, uh, the Israel national body, uh, if you're interested in this topic or any topic um, for, for the national body. And this is just the comment that I found most uh, the funniest by Tony. So it's irrelevant now because the server is closed, but there's a cake in the end. So thank you.